This is a tutorial on how to set up in-app purchases using the U3DXT plugin. Let's get started. Make sure we know what our bundle ID is. So let's click on Manage Purchases and let's create a consumable. Consumable is going to be used more than once. Uh, let's give it a name. Let's call it Coins. And uh, the product ID needs to be unique. Uh, let's just make it cost a dollar. For our languages, this is what's going to be shown to our user. Um, we can name it whatever we want. Uh, display name is usually shown in the pop-up, but description is, let's call it that. And um, we also need to add a screenshot. After that, um, let's also create a um, non-consumable. Non-consumable name, um, something like maybe levels would be a good non-consumable. Um, let's call it level 2. Let's also make it cost a dollar and it also um, requires the same languages. Again, this is what's going to be shown to the user when they click on the buy button. And um, let's also add a screenshot. Now, this is pretty much set. This is all we really need to do. But one of the other things that um, we need to also make sure is that we have test users. We can't use our regular account. We have to use test accounts. Now let's switch over to Unity here. Um, we would create a new project, make sure to kind of include the U3DXT plugin. As you can see here, we have IAP test, which is already kind of set up for us. We can go ahead and import that and use that as our base. Now, but what we're interested in is the IAP test, so let's go ahead and open that. Uh, remember that um, those product IDs that we used, we need to make sure that it matches. So coins needs to match. Um, this also needs to be called level 2. Um, of course, everything needs to be matched exactly correctly, and I think there was an underscore. So let's go ahead. We don't really need the last line right there. Um, actually, let's take a look at subscribe events. These are all the events that's going to be sent to you from the plugin. Things like complete, initialization complete, transaction complete. All these things um, are events that's uh, given to you from our API, and you can handle uh, them customly. But right now, we just want to make sure that we can purchase items. Um, and all we really need to do is initialize them. So let's go ahead. And it looks like um, one thing that we need to do here, of course, is initialize them. And of course, this needs to match um, exactly what we created. Um, the above line there was just a log. Um, this is actually uh, the thing that does the work. Now let's um, name it something that makes sense to us. Uh, when we uh, use the IXT, IPXT.buy, we need to make sure um, that we're buying the purchasing the correct IDs as well. And here we're going to actually purchase two. Uh, for consumables, you can specify the number. Um, of course, there's only one level, and the non-consumables, you can enter a quantity. And actually, that's all there is to it. Let's go build and see what happens. But before we build, we actually need to do that one last step, and that is that the bundle identifier, remember this is the other thing that uh, I keep saying is really important, it needs to match exactly what you have in your app. Now that it's correct, we can go ahead and build, and just go ahead and build this, launch the Xcode project, and just click on play. Um, let's see, launch it here, and click on play, and let's switch over to the device here. Now, on the device, um, this is kind of the sample application. Notice it says that initialize them is complete. When we click on buy, we actually have to enter the ID. This is the test user ID, not the one that you would use to purchase things on the App Store. This is the test account that you create. Um, now, when we click on purchase, if the account information is correct, it'll say you would want to buy two coins. When we click buy, it's going to automatically deduct that um, from the sandbox mode. Now let's take a look at the uh, consumable. It works the same way. Since we enter our password already, we just need to enter it one time. And if you look at the log here, um, notice that it says uh, coins we bought two and the level two we bought one. And that's all there is to it.